And that opens a path for Legault if we move Lynn out of the way, which will just make her start bashing this wall in. That's cool. It's still hilarious to me how Lynn just has the most strength out of anyone in my army. Except for Florina now. But she's a 20 promoted, so... It's ridiculous. Actually, that's a lie. Marcus still has the most attack and he... <laughs> it's just like, why? Why is Marcus so good? Alright, let's go. Here he comes. Can Lynn breach? Uh, no. He'll be able to reach next turn. He'll open the door for us, like a nice gentleman. However, Legault is another one of those characters that I always got the gender wrong. I used to think that he was a she, I think. Actually, I think I was more on the fence about whether or not Legault was a boy or a girl. I wasn't on the fence about Lucius. I always assumed that he was a she. Because, again, never read the story. I just sort of zoomed through it. Nope. Bump. Well, Marcus is going to get attacked several times. I don't even know if we have enough room. Also, there he is, finally. Man, you take forever to spawn. Hey, where the hell's your member? Oh, right, they spawn one, and then they spawn a second one. Man, they give you so much goddamn time in Elliwood mode. Alright. Javelin time. Break your bows against me, for I am Florina. Just wait till she gets the Delphi shield. If I didn't even get the Delphi shield, that's dependent on successfully doing one of the most annoying chapters in the entire game. Arguably the most annoying chapter in the whole game. How you doing, Legault? Uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Ooh, nice. Good kill. He has a Pegasus Knight. She's a lot more certain, but once she becomes a Falcon Knight, she has to really think about where she's aiming. Hello there. Yes, yeah, walking past you. Don't mind me. Uh, you do have that light rune. Enemies are not programmed to use it. I mean, you can use the mind glitch and make them use it. Which, I mean, light runes work the same way for enemies as they do for regular users, so it doesn't do anything. Alright, Matthew. Uh, get over there, I guess. Uh, you can not be attacked from there. That's fine. Matthew will help steal some chests. In fact, Matthew will probably just open this door and he'll go on the stealing spree while we take Legault all the way over here and swipe the member card. Because this asshole over here is just trying to steal an item. So we'll make sure we have Florina and uh, Rebecca stop that from happening. Florina should be able to deal with anyone who has, like, a ranged weapon. Oh, right, this asshole can move up. That's a problem. Thanks for blocking my range, dick. These fighters have, like, distractions, and they have ADHD, or ADD at least. I feel a uh, certain compelment when I see them run and charge something that literally does nothing for them. Breaking that wall does absolutely nothing. In fact, it's purely negative to their strategy. Arguably, the thieves are not on their side. They're just here to steal shit. What a cocky thief, though. There he is. There's our man. Some of this card stops in a suspicious place. Uh, we get it. That's what we do. So how can I do? Well, I can kill him. Uh, I don't want to do that, though, obviously. Hey, what's up? Well, now, a welcome visitor indeed. I must thank you for coming so far. What? You're Blackfang, aren't you? Hmm. To be accurate, I would say a former Black Fang member. Former? Yes, uh, now I'm simply a thief. Huh? So you're not my enemy, is that it? Uh, correct. So let's pretend we never saw each other. Hold on. Hmm? If you're not my enemy, please help me. M me Help you. Not everyone in Black Fang is evil. I'll not grant mercy in battle. But any information you can provide may help us avoid unneeded fighting. You surprise me. Are you really looking not to hurt people? The first person we fought in this island was Zuhai. I don't believe he was a bad man. There must be some way we can get by without fighting. Hmm, I know a few like that. Did you know that your enemy isn't Brendan Reed? It's a creepy fellow by the name of Nurgle. I was aware of that. That's the man we've come to defeat. 
plucky, aren't you? Like that. I like you. However, I know almost nothing about the current Black Fang. If that's okay. Thank you. My name's Lynn. I'm Legault. I'll help you as long as I feel safe. There's Legault. I guess I did his, uh, did his whole conversation before we even got him as a unit. You can talk to him with any of the three lords, I think. Even Hector. Hector, Elliewood, and Lynn. And they all have custom conversations. It's pretty cool. Alright, well this asshole is ruining my day. So, why don't you come over here, Fior, and start hucking some javelins at this loser. Make him feel bad about himself. There you go. That's it. Uh, do we need to... No, we don't need to kill that guy. Yeah, we can kill that guy with an iron bow now. Cool. Now we need to start breaking this wall. I think the brigands will help me. Or the... Whatever the hell they are. Sarah's A-OK. -okay. Priscilla... Oh, that's not good for Priscilla. Also, my javelin's gonna break. That's kind of annoying. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. I wish we could unlock a cracked wall. Wouldn't make any sense, but, you know. Alright, girl, start beating it with your staff. I don't think that's smart. Nah, do it. It's fine. Alright, we'll also block the spawn. I guess we might as well. Ooh, we can also sleep somebody. What if we could... Ooh, what if we could sleep him? What's his resistance? Nothing? Yeah, that would work. Yeah. We just need to break this wall, and then I should be able to just, like, whoop, boop, 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 sleep. This asshole over here, though, is a, another problem entirely. If we can get through this guy, then we can stop them, because they think they have to go, like, off the map over here. Well, we also have Matthew popping up. Legault can pop out. Uh, this asshole, though, I don't want him to pop anywhere. Here, take a steel sword. Can't have Legault attacking, sadly. He is a... He is a dude. <laughs> Still have a lot of units to clear out everywhere, but we're fine. Oh, you know, we should sell some stuff as well. So we can get some money for the secret shop. How much money do we even have? We have that guiding ring still left over. Do we have anything to sell? Well, we can probably sell a couple of these fire tomes. Uh, what else can we sell? We can sell broken that. We can sell that's broken. That's broken. Not that. That's pretty broken. We also need to throw up Elliewood anyway. Not like from our mouths, but upstairs so we can go take the throne when we're eventually ready to do all that shit. Nope. That was unnecessary. But we take it. Could've just heavy speared him next turn. Ah, hello. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that ruins my day. The other hand, X guy will probably start breaking the wall, though. Which is nice of him. <laughs> Thanks. For the free experience. Yeah, they're pretty good at destroying that wall. Now they're gonna start going for Marcus, because Elliewood's not nearby. Not that guy, for some reason. Who knows? Yeah, I'm gonna need that, bud. So I'm gonna need you to stop. Alright, what are we doing here? Well, first off, we need to start killing things. I think Lynn should take this guy just so we can move Fiora up. Because Fiora needs to go break that wall. And then we can have Rebecca come in there and just clean house. Perfect. Alright, Rebecca and Florina should both be able to take one of these guys. And we can sleep both thieves. Ooh. Ooh, I like that idea. I mean, what else am I going to use the sleep staff for? I can use it for several different things, but, you know, this is a good use for it. Gives us all the time in the world. Boink. Need to make sure we don't put Priscilla into danger, though, by doing this. So, you guys don't have javelins. You guys don't do anything to us. You have a hand axe, which is annoying, and you can kind of reach me, but I'll just stay out of your range. Alright, let's see what our sleep chance is. Ooh, 80. Ah, uh, you have a little bit worse of a chance. But you're the membership card guy. I kind of want to get the guiding ring guy, but I'd rather hit him when we have a better chance of hitting. The closer you are, the higher your chance. Alright, 80% chance. 
Got him. This doesn't run dual stat RNG when you use stabs, so that really was an 80% chance. That was a good level up. Z's. Can't use the chest key while you're... That's... That's weird. Why does it blot out the chest key? Huh. That's an odd decision on the game designer's part. Yeah, Priscilla's probably going to take a nice hit from an Iron Axe here, but that's uh, that's going to have to be A-OK. -okay. Ah, oh, Florian needs healing. Alright, that's fine. Oh no, Sarah's going to get attacked by two people. Does it matter? He'll do 11. He'll do... <laughs> he has an Iron Sword. Yikes. What can you do sometimes? I want to go steal those chests, but I kind of have to uh, focus all my attention over here for the time being. Uh, yeah, Matthew can't do it alone. Legault kind of can. He can dance around this guy with an Iron Lance. Legault would have a little bit more problems. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that's Legault. Okay, that's right. That's fine. All right, Legault getting attacked is a little annoying, but not as bad. Ooh, you have a Luna. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do you have a Luna? That can crit him. Uh, wouldn't kill him, and only one of you can target him. The other will have to go for Lin. Actually, no, you, you have to choose one or the other. The other will just have to just sit there and do nothing. All right. Anyone else not moved? Uh, nope, that's it. Oh no, here come the Pegasi. Here to block the archers so they can't do anything with their turns. Went for Sarah. I mean, he had to. Ow. Wait, come back. We're useful. We're important. Give us vindication. Well, there was a Luna. Still do not seen Luna crit this game, but the chances are pretty low considering how high all of our units luck is. Honestly, giving Luna to just a base level shaman is not that big of a deal. Like, yeah, it's, it hurts if it crits, but it won't be that big. Wait, did he just run away? Oh, he has a chest key. Shit. Alright, we have to go catch that guy. That's my guiding ring you got there, bud. Uh, we can probably still hit that sleep. Oh yeah, it's a 75% chance now. Alright, that's fine. Shit! Well, and you don't get experience if you miss. Damn it. Poison Lance and an Axe Reaver. Well, darn it. My strategy went to poop. That's fine, he won't run away that fast. Alright, come help us deal with this. Here comes my Luna. Ooh. Kill before the sound of the attack animation even ended. Hey, how's it going there, my man? Alright, now we have to make sure that our friend doesn't die. We also have to make sure we don't accidentally shoot the thief. That would be a dead member card. Need to get that guiding ring though. Very important. Darn. One damage away. Alright, fine. I'll use the Iron Lance. Boink. Uh, now who are we gonna go for? Yeah, we don't want to go down there. That's, that's hell. How you holding up, Marcus? You're doing fine. You have that Elliewood support. Gonna need to start moving away soon, Marcus, so, uh, you gotta do this shit without me. Kind of. Uh, Legault. Actually, you should run up and catch him. You'll be able to catch him next turn. That works. Yeah, he doesn't run up those stairs. He has to run all the way over there. That's what he's programmed to do, I believe. Watch him just prove me wrong and ruin this whole run. Wouldn't that be hilarious? That'd be funny. I'd laugh. And be extra annoyed. 
I've never seen him do that. Or at least I don't recall him ever doing that. Some good experience. This asshole going for the galt. Needs to go. Fiora should be able to help me out with that. Oh, right. I forgot about Ellie Wood. <laughs> yeah, he can get hit from there, can he? Oh, well. Blah stuff. He had to attack and close. Poor bastard. Didn't stand a chance. Ooh. One point away. Yep. Right into my hands. Annoyingly, though, right in range of the Poison Lance loser. I don't feel like watching Poison Tick. So don't do uh, don't get hit. Give me that Guiding Ring. Yoink. Actually, how fast is this thief? Oh, uh, Matthew could have stolen that item. Alright, Fuhrer, this is all you. Actually, before it's all you... Ah, I'm one range away. Not for Sarah, though. Pointless healing. Somewhat pointless healing. Level 15. Luck and resist. Yep. Mm, heavy spear time. No. Man, he is that slow. He is a shaman. Shaman. However you pronounce that. That's another one of those words that's sort of up to you. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, well, this guy's worthless now. He just has a nice iron sword. Can't steal that. Alright, this guy is going to be sleeping for another three turns, so we have plenty of time to just waltz on down over to him and introduce him to our fist. If we get a crit here with the steel bow, we can kill this guy. Well, we take those. Oh, right. She has a 14% crit chance now because she has an S in bows. That's another nice thing about that. 5% crit chance increase. Yay! That helps. Especially because also, like uh, staff uses, crit is a single stat RN. It's not dual. Level 3. Ha 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 ha. Good shit. Well done. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. However, we can deal with him, sort of. Uh, gave my vulnerary to uh, someone else. I think Legault. Yeah, because I had to take his steel sword. How do I do with an iron sword? No, I can't damage him. I can damage him with a steel sword, though. So I could just barely not damage him with the Iron Sword because of the throne. Ah, well. Priscilla, you need healing. Go get some. Right, this nonsense. Uh, that killer bow guy is scary. Honestly, I'm thinking about just having Rebecca do all that. They can't trade because they don't have anything to trade. That's funny. Alright, Edward, you can move up now. Marcus will be fine on his own. You have to sell this stuff anyway. Uh, we need to grab that member card. We'll surround him with uh, Florina and Rebecca. That'll do. We'll also pull all those archers with Rebecca. She should be able to deal with all of them. Killer bow guy can do something, but not even that much. Alright, Lynn, why not? Uh, we can throw you into combat. Uh, no one can reach us. Sure. Have fun. I mean, we'll run one round him. If we kill him, then the enemies that start spawning from over here will not spawn. He'll sp we'll stop all the reinforcements. That'd be quite nice. Are you Darren? My grandfather. You tried to. Wah! What? Who are you? I am Marcus Kalen's granddaughter, Lindus. Come on! Oh, that scene, old fool. That daughtering wreck dared disagree with me. I was so happy to be rid of him. You're a dead man. Actually, Lynn, you're looking pretty close to dead right now. 
Go for the crit. Help! <laughs> He's a dead man. Good job, Darren. You existed. Blood is... Where? Is this my blood? If I do come to me. Your master calls you. I am the ruler of the world. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Look at this clusterfuck. They can't even spawn in some of these spaces anymore. They're trying. Someone's gonna have a lot of fun going down there later. He's running away. I mean, what else can he do? He can't steal anything. He's not programmed to fight. Alright, that's fun. And Florina will kill him and will surround this little thief and make him not able to do anything. Uh, we need to move Legault on over. Fiora, go deal with those guys. You can do it, right? Yeah, you're fine. Take a little bit of damage from the Axe Reaper guy, but you probably dodge the Poison Lance. Good. Yeah, I don't want to get hit with the Poison Lance. That would just make my turns take extra long, sitting through the Poison animation. They really sped it up in recent Fire Emblem games. Alright, take your rightful throne, Lindus. Uh, let's heal you up first. Priscilla, could you get some defense, by the way? Like, I'm used to everyone else having better defense now, except for Lin. So you could start catching up with everyone else. It's, it's kind of the trendy thing to get. As I'm sure you're aware. Can't believe I broke my sleep staff, though. I mean, I can, actually, because I used all the uses. But, you, you know what I meant. Alright, Legault, you might as well move down. We need to grab that chest. Uh, actually, we don't want to move that far. We don't want to move in this guy's range. He has an Axe Reaver. Do I care? No, I don't care. This is faster. Fuck it. Well, you need to make sure you hit with that Heavy Spear now, otherwise we're blocked. Actually, the, the Thief will move. You know, I don't care about Marcus telling me that I got, like, a one-star tactics. Fuck you. It's very obvious that I'm very smart. This strategy is utterly stupid and it should not have worked this whole run. But I made it work. Okay? I made it work. So thank you very much. Now he's running back. Can't make up his mind. He's crazy. Alright, well here goes the Axe Reaver guy. Unnecessary crit away. Fiora's almost level 15. That's good. What do we got here? Barrier staff. There's my barrier. Uh, we need one inventory slot in order to steal that. Well, shoot. Alright, well we have a one-use javelin. We can just throw that away. I'll throw it at him. No, then I'll get a crit. That's fine. See, I'll trade with the Galt next turn, and then that'll be that. Rebecca, you're she's fine, so you can go have fun. Uh, yeah. I'll just be like, hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name's Rebecca. I've been clean for my entire life, because I'm 15, apparently. Rebecca wouldn't drink. What? Are you kidding me? She's such a pure girl. Gulp. Poor Marcus lost his support, buddy. It was keeping him alive pretty well. Who else needs some healing? Uh, Lynn needs some healing. That's right. Alright, Lynn, you can get off the throne now. You got stuff to do, uh, including bonking the thief, I guess? Or we'll let him run past. Why not? Sarah, you can go heal Elliewood. Anyone else not move? Nope, we're good. Oh no, he can move again. What's he gonna do? Run up? Run straight into Logalt? Ah, he gods. My roast is ruined. Well, Rebecca is now unkillable. That's good. Get a crit. 
get a crit. I really want the killable guy to get a crit. I think it'd be funny. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, lame. He had a low chance of hitting, so it was unlikely he would crit. It would require him hitting as well as critting. There's my killer bow. Yes, please. Pfft. Hey! God damn it, don't run over there. Uh, why would you run? Oh, I guess because that's, that's safe. Yeah, if we take away all his exits. Uh, well, here you go. Trade. Let me take that barrier off your hands. Yeah, <laughs> where are you gonna go now? He might run towards the stairs. That wouldn't be good. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I can throw a javelin at this guy. Yeah! Alright, good job, Fior. You've done your, uh, you've done your part. I really want to get good those chests, but I don't have the ability to go get them without getting myself killed with these, these three units. Sarah can survive. Matthew and, uh, Matthew and Ellie would cannot. Now, Marcus is good for another turn. Hey, what is this guy going to do? I'm kind of curious. I guess he'd run towards the other chests, but can't reach them. Execution. Execution. Right in the junk. No purpose. Just violence. Alright, whatever. We'll let him run away. See what he does. Poor Marcus. He didn't deserve this. Well, he's certainly trying to run away. Well, let's block all his exits. Cornered like a rat. And you're stuck in the courtyard, fella. Now what are you gonna do? You might run as close to Priscilla as possible. Alright, uh, Fiora, go have fun over here, I guess. Yeah, you can handle an Iron Lance, Steel Lance, and an Armor Slayer. That's, that's A-OK -okay by you. You're pretty good now. Marcus, you are starting to take a lot of hits, actually. I'm kind of scared. Push comes to shove, you can just rescue Hector, fuck off, and we'll let Merlinus die as Oswin, like, takes the wall. Honestly, what we could do is switch. Then the Steel Lance guy would be stuck attacking Oswin, which wouldn't work next to Hector. Eh, it could work. Alright, Lin. Uh, I don't know. Go do something. Your, your, your purpose on this map is now over, honestly. You, you don't have to do anything else. There we go. I think one of these chests is a blue gem, so that's extra money to sell. Uh, to buy shit. It's like 5,000 gold, which is really good. Ow. Hello, buddy. You are really not making this easy for me, you know that? Look. Can you can you just like get the member card taken, please? You don't have to make this such a goddamn project. Um Yeah, I can't can't really block him off. I want to though. I really do, I'll be honest. Like, he is running so far out of places to hide. Alright, someone needs to go back and deal with all that shit down there. Probably gonna be like Florina. She can have fun. Anyone else need some pointless healing? Alright, now where are you gonna run, Thief? Now where are you gonna run? You are enclosed in so many different directions, it's not even funny. I guess towards Elliewood. Oh wait, he can probably steal shit from Elliewood. No, he can't. Elliewood has nothing but weapon. Wait, he has an iron sword. Uh oh, that's not allowed. Give me that back. You'll have to hold on to that for a turn, Ellie, uh, Matthew. Can he kill Elliewood? No, he can't. Can he get a crit? No, he can't. Yeah, thieves in the wild have really bad skill. For some reason, Matthew and the rest of your thieves just have good skill. Okay, yeah, we need to switch. So, that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is, like, this, this, and then that. 
And because they're too stupid to reorganize, Hector will not take any damage this turn. And then we'll switch Oswin for Mar uh, we'll switch Hector for Marcus. And now Oswin's the only one who can be targeted. Suck a dick. Oh no, he can take one damage. I was wrong. Oh no, the strategy isn't gonna work. And <laughs> Marcus can still be shot at. That's funny. Okay. Well, your charade is now open. There was a forest there. Look, listen, buddy. Listen. Listen, buddy. You're done. You're trapped. Now you know how it feels to be Rebecca. Um... No one else needs healing. I really would can go up. Actually, Matthew can steal it. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, there we go. Uh, take the Iron Sword, and I'll just swipe the Ripper Car. I'll swipe the Chess Key as well, just to make him angry. Thank you. Good stuff. Oh, right, Fiora, you need to do your thing. Uh, how are we doing over here? Uh, you can do 10, you can do 7. That guy can probably not do enough. So we'll just kill the, the annoying guy. And break my Heavy Spear. Honestly, breaking the Heavy Spear makes me just feel so good about myself. I was able to use the Heavy Spear for something, guys. See? See, it happened. It's not a bad weapon. <laughs> that was a perfect level up. I think that was the first one all game. Perfect level up is getting everything but Khan, because you can't get Khan. You can only get Khan when you class up. That was filthy. Yum. Good shit, Fiora. Good shit. You might turn out better than your sister. It's very possible. Your gains have been really good. Now we just shoot him. I mean, we can. I don't really need the chest key, but I guess I want it. I feel kind of, like, obligated to get it. Okay, well, nah, now you're you're stuck. It's just one Steel Lance Pegasus Knight a turn. You people are really dumb. You know that? Alright, someone go deal with the Armor Knight. Okay, well... There's all this shit here. We don't have to sit through all this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a good heavy spear. The legend of the heavy spear. I thought that was it breaking. The legend was going to be over real fast. No, it, it's still continuing. I think that's A rank. It has one use left. The legend continues. The legend goes on. A Titanic story. See, it's Titanic because it's the heavy spear. It's really big and heavy, like the Titanic. Okay, give me that uh, chest key. Do we have anyone with an unempty... Yeah, yeah, that works. Here you go, my friend. I'll take that member card off your hands. It's like passing the torch. Thanks. You almost got Matthew to level up after all. Okay, uh, goodbye. You are nothing but Iron Sword experience for my Pegasus Knight. Okay. Rebecca. You can rush forward. Bum 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 ba da bum bum ba da bum. Uh, and now Elliewood can seize his rightful place on the throne when we're ready. But of course, we have to check all the secret shops first, which will take a good bit of time. Who's going to visit the secret shop? I guess Legault, but Legault has to go get the chest and make sure he has proper shit to sell. There's several people I wanted to take the secret shop. But we have two secret shops, so we have plenty of time. All right. Uh, go deal with the nonsense down there. Florina... You're good. Actually, you can give that barrier staff and start working on staff experience. Hey, here you go, Sarah. Alright, have fun. It's not like I'll ever use this thing for anything anyway. I stab myself with my headset. It's kind of spiky. Like all gamer things nowadays. The hell? Oh, that was the... that was that. Am I bleeding because I stabbed myself? No, nah, it's just a little poke. I'm gonna die. Alright, we need to pull this guy. Uh, Legault can do it. That way Link can deal with him next turn. 
break the heavy spear on a wall. Nah. It's earned its place among the shelves of the coffers of the secret shop. I wonder how much a use, like a single use of the heavy spear costs. Probably a lot. Then again, maybe not that much. Alright, Lynn, good deal. Ooh, you're pretty good. I don't want to break my manicotti, so... Iron sword it is. Ow. Hey, do you want barrier? Barrier is actually really good. Not in this run, but it is good. Well, this is going to be plenty of experience for Rebecca. And we're all good after this, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're all done after this in the night. Well, we're good. Uh, Matthew, do you need to go get anything? Oh, we got both the chest up there. All right, little Galt ended up doing everything anyway. It's typically how it works. Bang. Grab the chest. There's our Lunatome. We'll throw on Athos. I wait, but Athos can't be used. Okay, so all dark magic is literally useless. I can just sell that then. Fiora. Oh, wait, you don't you don't have that. That's right. <laughs> Do I have the member card yet, Ross? I mean, you have it, but you need to have the member card to actually use it. Boink. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, look, there is Florina. All right. Well, that's pretty good. But we also need to sell that shit. Um, we also need to sell that shit. Here you go. Is all the shit I want to sell? Uh, I can also sell the seals. Eh, maybe not yet. Boink. One a turn. What a turn, honestly. Next, there's the blue gem. Cool. Uh, we, we don't want to send that to Merlinus. We can sell the guiding ring because we don't want to sell that accidentally. That would be a travesty. All right, so we need the member card. We'll do it with Lynn, I guess. Um, blue gem. Not sure what else we want to give. Eh, we'll just wait. Hollywood can go transfer the stuff. Actually, we could have Fiora do it. Fiora would do it faster. But now we're just destroying everyone's inventory. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Now we can also sell that one use javelin. And we're right next to Hollywood, so that's good. Oh, but Legault needs to go transfer that shit over so we can sell that as well. Um, that's cool. Ba, 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 ba. It's sad we don't have the silver card. It really helps buying physics staves to not have them be 3,000 gold. And physics staves are really good for staff experience. They're like the best staff in the game for it. Next to, of course, like the three use staves, like sleep and silence. Alright, well, here we go. Oh, but first off, uh, here you go. Take some more of the shit that you don't need. Uh, you can sell that. Alright, so there's the blue gem. Don't sell the member card. That would that'd be too stupid. Who would ever do that? Okay, well, we want two physics staves, so that already is going to blow most of our money. Do I want any of this shit? It's all bad. Oh, the silver blade. What a piece of shit. I mean, Linda's okay with the silver blade because it only weighs 13, so it slows her down by 8. When she classes up, it slows her down by, like, seven. But she has so much speed that she kind of does pretty okay with it. The question, though, is do I even want to give it to her? I mean, the unlock staff... No, we don't need another unlock staff. Iron Blade is really bad, too. I don't like any of these weapons. I mean, it's a little extra damage where you need it. The silver, the Steel Blade is arguably the best of the three. Because it's just, like... A nice bargain for the price, you get a decent number of uses with it, but it's just like, ugh, yuck. I don't like any of them. 
Nah, we'll save money for the actual good weapons, which is right down there. I don't know if you can get Reaver weapons, but I really want those if you can. We don't have much money, but we'll try and get what we can. Alright, so now we want to be, like, right around here, and then we'll transfer everything over to Florina. Alright, well, we want to sell a lockpick, because we don't need that many lockpicks, and lockpicks are worth good money. Uh, do we want to sell all of our lockpicks? Well, not obviously all of them, but... Okay, we have a 15-use lockpick. That'll be good enough for, like, the rest of the game. Yeah, sell, sell both the lockpicks. That'll be good. I'll take that Steel Lance off your hands... Uh, we'll give the other lock... Actually, we should have two lockpicks. Yeah, we need two lockpicks for our two thieves. That makes more sense. Alright, we'll... We'll keep the seven-use lockpick. You can sell the chest key, honestly. Well, okay, I won't sell the chest key. Chest key's useful. Oh, forgot to move somebody. Boink. We did it. Now there's two of them free. Oh no, can Marcus's HP hold out? Find out next time. On Featherman R. Alright, let's go. Here you go, Florina. Take the member card and off you go. Alright, Hollywood, you can start running back towards the throne. However, this is more barrier experience for me. Yeah. Level 16. She's getting up there. Man, her magic's bad. She started with only two, though, so gaining... Six magic over the course of 15 levels. I guess that's okay for Sarah. It's a little bit under average, I think. I'm not sure what her magic is, but it's not as good as Urk's growth, I think. Actually, it might be equivalent to Urk's growth. Don't quote me on anything. That's the secret to my channel. And my general life in, in, in my experience. Oh, right, you have that iron sword to sell. Uh, and that slim lance. Oh, well. It's fine. Don't need to sell everything. Don't need to be optimal. Just need to be done soon. Alright, last one. Well, second to last one. There's the last one. And Marcus survived. What a beast. You can get some sword experience on that wall. Boop. Not gonna end up, not not gonna end it that easily. Bank. We didn't even use the steel sword the whole chat. Oh, well, actually, I didn't give her a steel sword right. We ran out. Alright, well, that was fun. Cool. That was a lot of free experience for Rebecca. Uh, speaking of free experience, we got some heal experience we can get right here. And some barrier experience we can get right here. And might as well do that for, like, one more turn. This will be the last turn, uh, the next one. Okay, everyone, speak now, forever hold your peace, and you need something. Uh, Pure could get some random heals. Can't reach. Oh, well, I mean, what I think I could from that range. All right, there's a secret shop. Anything else we need to get? We got all the chests. We're good to go. Uh, any supports we want to build? Actually, it would be nice to get the Fiora Florena sport. Eh, we won't worry about it. I said this would be the last chapter, or the last episode. Fuck, the last part. So, we'll make it sure it is. Alright, yeah, we don't need that. I uh, don't need that. And we don't need that. And that. I think I might have sold stuff I actually wanted. Oh well. Well, we barely have any money. But here's your stuff you can get. So, what do we want? Well, the Killer Axe is great for Isadora, but we won't worry about that. We already got a Killer Bow. Let's get a Killer Lance. Let's get a Killing Edge. And now we can only afford one of these. Alright, another Killing Lance. Alright, there you go. We weren't able to get much, but what we did get, we got good stuff of. We have two Physics, which are going to go directly onto these two. They're going to have so much fun with those. You better believe they're going to have some fun with them. Well, let's go see your dad, Ellywood. I'm sure he hasn't died of boredom in the time it's taken us to get over here. He was mad. Consumed by his own lust. Pitiful fool. Lord Darwin. Come on, Ellywood. There's no time for sentiment. Your father needs you. Let's go.
Just just me, I guess. Okay, uh, I'm just going to be uh, saying the lines for this. This is possibly one of the dumbest scenes in any video game ever. I mean, there's there's some real emotion in here, but there's also so much dumbness. Like, not, not to do everything by the same book that Mecha and Mangs do with it every time they look at this, but, like, holy, holy, holy moly, there's a lot of holes here, so... Father? It's me, Elliewood. I've come to save you. Father? It's dark in here. Can't see a thing. El... Elliewood. Uh... Father? Where are you? Back there, Elliewood. His voice is coming from back there. Where is everybody? I don't know. Ah, Father. You... You're all right. Elliewood. Wait. F forget me. Take that girl and flee. Ninian? That girl. She's the key to the Dragon's Gate. Hurry. Go before Nurgle notices you. Ninian, this way. We must flee. Something's wrong with her. Yet we've no time to hesitate. Elliewood, I've got your father. You take Ninian. I understand. Lord Elbert, I'm gonna move you a little. Be strong. Hector, you came too? Thank you. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's leave this place. Elliewood, Hector. Hurry, this way. Uh, uh. You will not pass here. W when did you... You must not fight that man. What? That man is dangerous. You cannot defeat him on your... Actually, probably not. Lin is maybe not doubled by him. It really would depend on crits, and I think he has a higher crit rate than I do. Father, there's no time. This danger must be faced. Be a good boy and listen to your father, young Master Elliewood. Ephidol! Even among the Black Fang, this man is feared for his skill. You are no match for him, not even as a group. You've done well, Jafar. That is all. <laughs> I, hate, I hate this. Return to Burn and begin your next assignment. Hear my word. I have an invitation from my master. In honor of your hard-fought arrival, he's prepared a special show for you. Stop it! You cannot release the dragons! Father, what's all this about? You will know shortly, at the expense of your father's life. <laughs> Father, what's wrong? Father? Lord Elbert, hold on. Huh? Ninny Anne? P Power! I need them for my deck, Yugi. Power is what my blue eyes have. She's more like a red eyes. Maybe I should be with a Joey Wheeler impression. Father! Now, Ninian, at last, open the dragon's gate. Hey. Open! Open gate! I'm Kaiba. You must listen to me. Yes, that's it. This way, dragon. Whoa, what's this rumbling? I can barely keep my feet. Nurgle, what, what's happening? Here, come here, children of... Flame, blue eyes, burst destruction, come to me. It can't be. Uh, no, it isn't. 
Is that truly a dragon? <laughs> yes. Use all your strength. Squeeze every drop from your body. You will call dragons. I will not allow this. Oh, that was Nils. Ooh, my bad. Who? Who's there? Y you! Nils! Ninian, come to your senses! It's me, Seto! You must not do what they want! N Nils! Mokuba, my brother! <laughs> this line kills me. This line kills me. Wait for it. Nils? Not now! Refidol, stop him! Desist! Desist, Nils! The power, it runs wild! <laughs> That's it! That's what he did! Well done! Nidian! Nils? Here, hurry! The dragon is crumbling! Everyone flee! <laughs> he just leaves and <laughs> Refidol doesn't you stop you mustn't come here Lord Nurgle please Wah. can we even talk about the metric shitload of bullshit that just happened something happened is it gone No, I failed. Nils, you whelp! If not for your interference, come, both of you. What? No. Never. We will not follow you. Ninian, Nils. It. You will not. What? Impossible. Not by your hand! I told you, I will oppose you always. Why won't you die? Father. Everyone, be prepared. He will return. All right, but for now, let's leave this island. Let's go home. No, my son. I'm done here. You, Elliewood, you must finish this. Don't say that. Mother's waiting in Foray. She's waiting for you, father. Ah, Eleonora. She will be cross with me. Elliewood. Your mother. I'm sorry. Tell her I'm sorry. Father? Well, that scene was good. Everything else before that was fucking bad. Where do we even begin? Okay, so we entered the Dragon's Gate. Uh, and we just see Lord Elbert all by himself. Where Where is anybody? Everyone's just not nowhere to be found. They're just hiding behind, like, curtains. Like, ooh, ooh, here he comes. Here comes Elliot. Oh my god, he's not gonna expect this. Oh, here he comes. Then they send in, uh... Mr. Killjoy, uh, my man Jafar, uh, who has all three of the lords generally undertrained, and generally Jafar can, like, kill all of them, which he probably should have, but he didn't, because Ephidol's like, eh, you know, this mission's not important. Go, go to Burn. We have another mission for you. What other mission? You're summoning fucking dragons. What, what do you need him to do over there? You're done. This is it. You summon the dragons, you can do whatever the flying fuck you want. No, you have to go to Burn. 
okay. So, so then why didn't you kill them? No, we have to, we have to have a special show for them. Here's the dragons. Oh, here's Nils. Guess you let him go free too. And here he comes in. And what did they do to stop him? Nils, desist. Okay, yeah, he's gonna stop. So then the dragon fails. And the best part of all, Ethel doesn't even fuck off. He just, uh, he just sort of stays there. Does, doesn't teleport, despite the fact that he's done that several times. He just sort of stays there and dies. What a dumb chapter. Alright, well, new resolve. At last, Eliwood's long-awaited reunion with his father. As well as their pitiful... Or pain... Their pitiful... Fa their painful farewell. After escaping the Dread Isle, they return to the port city of Badan. Baden. Eliwood remains silent for the duration of their passage. He sits cradling his father's cold hand, as if to warm him back to life. Chapter 20, New Resolve. We're ending off this session pretty soon, but we'll see what the story has to offer for us, in case you want a cl no cliffhanger. Ninian, are you feeling better? Yes. That's good. Long time no see, Nils. You've grown, haven't you? <laughs> Is it really you, Lindis? It seems like it's been so long. Even though it's only been a year since I saw you last. So much has happened since we left you and Kaylin. Hey, care not to talk about that thing? The rest care to talk about things the rest of us can follow? Humph, who's he? This is Hector, Marcus Ostia's brother. Don't let his attitude fool you. He acts mean, but he's decent enough. Acts mean seems pretty mean to me. He, <laughs> and you might remember this one. He's a. Uh... Yep, I remember. He's the man who helped Diddy Ann. You're an Albert son, aren't you? Your red hair, gentle eyes, and even voice. You're just like him. Where did you meet my father? At the Dragon's Gate. He set us free after we'd been captured. I'm not sure how he did it a second time. We escaped with a small boat, but I was thrown out in a storm. When I woke up, I was back in Valor. For a time, I hid in the ruins by myself. Then I sensed something really dangerous. When I raced to the Dragon's Gate, I, I saw everything. Nils. I guess how it happened is, like, they escaped the first time because Nurgle was, like, lazy. But then... Like, this badass Lord Albert helped them out the second time, but it's still fucking stupid. When we pulled Nini Ann from the boat, she lost her memory. I can't believe he brought us right back to her captors. What a horrible thing to do. I'm sorry. Lady Lynn. Lynn, you did nothing wrong. Only that man did for not summoning a blue eyes. He summoned a regular red dragon. Probably didn't even have 3,000 attack points. I bet it was even an effect monster. Wouldn't that make it better than Blue Eyes? No! How else are you supposed to use Double Summon? Or even Ancient Rules? I think you could use Double Summon with him anyway. Shut up, Mokuba. I didn't say anything, Seto. When Nils fell overboard, I didn't know what to do. I became lost within myself. If only I had been stronger. All of this could have been avoided. I am truly sorry. Nidiad's power is greater than mine, but it cost her physical and emotional strength. Nurgle exploited that weakness. Ninian, Nils. Was he after you because of you have the power to call dragons? I think it's because we could open the dragon's gate. Just calling them, Nurgle could do that on his own. <laughs> I fucking hate that line too. Are you serious? Yeah, but it requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. Quintessence? That's what Nurgle called it. The sustenance of the human spirit, power, energy. The essence of life itself. Nurgle, he stole this quintessence. What happens to those whose quintessence is stolen? They, uh, they die. Neither Nidian nor I have that power. Lin knows we only have our special power. Anyway, Nurgles needs to gather a large amount of quintessence, so he sent his henchman Ephidol to get close to Marcus Laws. He sought to plant the seeds of war in Darren's power-hungry heart. To what end? It seems the quintessence in each person varies in strength. A person of strong mind and body has hundreds of times more energy than the average person. Sounds like there aren't many people like that, though. Took long enough for Nurgle to find people with enough strength. Although it would take time, Nurgle said the easiest way to get that much quintessence was by starting a war. So he planned to make up for the quality with quantity. That's it. Blackhearted fiend, are there men nothing but pawns to him? Ephedal brought Elbert to the Dragon's Gate. He said we found the idea source that he saw it. Nurgle's power plans for a war that had stopped, and yet he was happy. He'd taken much energy from the night traveling with Elbert. He was sure he'd get even better contestants from Elbert. Nils! That's gonna have to be the end of the chapter. Goodbye, everybody. Here comes... End.